you see that these people will be going they will be talking back and forth when this whole thing is becoming uh, becoming a very bigger problem they said oh it was not terrible that removed this first subsidy it was a boy that removed it to this and this and this and that all of a sudden again oh they are praising him oh for hitting the ground running from his inaugural speech as he promised during his campaign in the coming in the 2023 general election governments in the past have talked about the threat and danger of the first subsidy to nigeria's economy but have not been able to remove it as marketers are quick to increase the price of the commodity as well as make it scarce which mostly leads to protests from citizens however Tinubu's administration seems to be determined in removing the subsidy and ensure that it never appears in the Nigeria economic narrative again with the manner of its approach. Therefore, if Tinubu succeeded in defeating the subsidy regime, the next target of the new government could be purely the change, another system that benefited only a few and negatively affected the country's exchange rate. Buri the change is that set of influential nigerians who treat dollars at the black market those people get dollars in large quantities from the central bank using influences and lobbies and reset them at higher place uh, prices on the black market as of wednesday mid 31st the official exchange rate of one naira to one dollar is a 464 461 naira 0.5 but why is traced traded at black market for 474 naira on the first day in office kashim shetima while addressing journalists at the steakhouse on tuesday may 38 noted that they envisage a fierce resistance of the new policy but the new government has the way to break the record according to shetima first subsidies must go and multiple exchange rates must stop he added that in if Nigeria did not end the subsidy, the subsidy will end Nigeria. Ada Tinubu will become the victor in the battle he had set for himself and his administration lies on the shoulder of time. This is due to the fact that the brewery, the chain system is at hold as old as the subsidy, if not older, and it has become so normalized that fighting it would look like the employing a certain set of people in society. Legit NG earlier reported that a former Minister of State for Labour and Employment, Fessor Skeyamu, has dismissed the media report that President Bola Tinumbu removed the first subsidy. You see what I'm saying? That they are just going back and forth. Kayamu in a statement on Tuesday said that the new president did not remove the first subsidy and that the report is mischievous. The senior advocate explained that the 2023 budget did not provide allocation for subsidy beyond June 2023, and that is what Sinubu retreated. The question people are asking is that why is it not that, why did, don't, did they not wait till the end of that June before all this haha? Some people are saying they are making mistakes, that he that made a mistake, but uh, the second the NPC ruled out a uh, price, of the new price of the new the new price of the petroleum and nobody saying anything what kind of a contradiction is that god will fight every opposition let us revoke their license those who ever over the year had fed on oil subsidy without a responding or corresponding service delivery should have their license revoked this is our common way hmm. Now today, the one way they do not for Lagos, <laughs> all the corruption going on in Lagos, I was able to do it. The person, the same man who was enjoying the whole thing, really, it seems like you guys are coward. Why is all of you afraid to declare the subsidy remover on fire? Which means that uh, there are some individuals who are greater than the president of Nigeria and the constitution. Please, if you are also incapacitated to remove or to move Nigeria forward, you better live before it is too late i hate excuses and stop playing pranks policies with our lives so we have suffered enough from these tyrants called leaders please all these yorubas you are supporting tinubu for removing five subsidy we will all suffer together as long as you do don't know the meaning of five subsidy 
you want to use that to recover the money he used to buy INEC chairman and CGN for everything they did for him because he did not even win the election. Tinubu is a murderer by ordering the soldiers to kill innocent youth in the Lekki Two Gates. Or the Lekki Two Gates, Tinubu is a drug baron. Tinubu is too hood and sick to rule Nigeria. <laughs> this one, see you there on this matter. Keyamu, can you please explain why the president was so much in a haste to announce the removal of subsidy with one month left for Nigeria to enjoy the subsidy? They will not ask questions. They will say, I leave her like that. He does not mean. You see them? Mm. You see them? This talasat would know nothing about administration, but how to put more pace on the people they claim voted for them. He has not something he has not he has no knowledge of. Is it not petroleum products that this so much noises about a subsidy is about? Once they build or repair our refinery, will there still be anything about it? Why do citizens allow these thieves deceive them about subsidy? They have been cheating and deceiving us about it for a very long time. Buari removed subsidy. This year budget did not even include subsidy. It was announced December last year that subsidy will stop by June. Hmm. I trust Jagaban. This first subsidy and Buru the change. Two major problems of Nigeria. The question is why did the president not wait till the end of June before making the announcement, knowing fully well that the subsidy still covers one month of June? Was it just to inflict punishment on us before the time? Mm. If our refineries resume operation, fuel crisis will be over. The question is that why is it that you don't want it to happen? Does it mean you don't have a... The money is not there to repair it or to put it in order? I laugh at the saying, this is ignorance. It is good that the first subsidy is removed because some cabas are eating big from it. You say Tinubu did not remove it. Who then did? Don't change your ways when the benefits of removing first subsidy emerges. If there was no provision for subsidy from June 30th and the budget that removed the subsidy by June 30th was prepared and submitted to the National Assembly by Buhari, is therefore Buhari that removed the subsidy. Don't because become empty because of your hatred for Kiyamu. He is one of the finest lawyers in Nigeria. <laughs> no Tinubu, but Buhari regime did not capture it in 2023 budget. If we should be speaking English, how much are you buying? What are the things that you are being affected with now? Mm.